Welcome to this course. Now, Atlassian Jira has been adopted by 65,000 companies across all over the world and X-Ray as an autest management tool has been adopted in 10,000 companies across the world. It has been used in Fortune 500 companies including BMW, Samsung, Airbus which are highly known companies in the world. If you are a project manager, scrum master, developer or a QA engineer, this course has been divided in couple of sections into different areas where if you are a project manager, scrum master, developer or a quality assurance engineer. You can use X-Ray as a test management tool used manual process or if you are a technical manager or technical test lead or a developer and a quality assurance engineer, you can use Atlassian Jira and X-Ray with an automation perspective from a CI-CD process. And what I have tried to do here is use Selenium as an example, Cucumber as a framework, Bitbucket as a source code management tool, AWS as a code infrastructure to set up the whole CI CD pipeline. It has been estimated by 2023, the DevOps automation tools market will be $5 billion value. And by 2030, it will be $24 billion, which is only going to be increased. By 2023, the estimated value of software testing market is going to be $45 billion. And by 2032, market size is going to be $90 billion as per the gminsights.com, which is an industry analysis of software testing market. Kindly note that this course does not require any prerequisites. Start with about Agile or DevOps. You can learn all the steps from scratch. This program does not require any background of project management, automation testing, test management, but requires some basics of testing. This is the only course you will ever need to learn about setting up Agile project from testing perspective taught by a professional test automation specialist. All the concepts and step-by-step -step hands-on has been shown in this particular course. This course covers multiple aspects of setting up Jira, X-Ray in a framework with an emphasis on test automation. Try to cover basics and best practices, covers both UI API test, but not limited to this, covers Cucumber frameworks, covers various use cases and exhausting demonstration. By the end of this course, what you will be able to do is You'll be able to set up uh, your project in Kanban board setup as well as you will be able to set up the active sprint along with X-Ray issue types in your uh, project as such. You'll be able to manage as an admin view as well as quality assurance view. You'll be able to test via X-Ray APIs and get the results as well. You'll be able to run your test cases manually as well that will reflect in the test results of your test cases. You will be able to export your feature files in the Cucumber format from your X-Ray able to run your selenium scripts after designing it and exporting it into x-ray and we'll be able to see results in x-ray as well able to set up ci cd pipelines with the bitbucket as well as aws configurations apart from that we'll be covering a lot of other concepts and we will be covering this step-by-step -step approach sit back relax and enjoy the course what i have done is i have structured the course in a very sequential manner as well as there are different checkpoints involved in the courses where I'll explain where we are at the particular course but what I will suggest my students to do is kindly follow it sequentially so that you get the best benefit of this course as well and uh, I'm pretty much sure that if you follow it sequentially you'll be able to successfully achieve all this integration as well be, as well as you'll be able to understand the importance of Jira as, as well as a test management tool in your framework from a manual testing perspective, from automation testing perspective, as well as project man management perspective as well. All right. So what I have done in this particular video is I have dedicated this video to show a roadmap of our course content. Now this course contains a lot of details okay, and it is important to understand at what point are we really stitching everything together. We will tap on different topic at a very iterative fashion, at a very simple fashion. We will understand that topic first and then we will move on to the next topic. Each topic is very exhaustive. That's the reason I had to prepare this particular roadmap so that the students don't get confused where they are in this particular course. Now this course is specific to X-Ray, okay, but without Jira, we cannot do X-Ray. So that is what we have to understand. I'll start with this particular section, which is X-Ray. Okay, we will, what we will try to do is we will try to install X-Ray in Jira. Okay, and then we will try to understand what is issue types in X-Ray. After understanding issue types in X-Ray, we will try to configure X-Ray issue types manually in our team managed project. Then we will understand the Kanban board and Scrum board 
in the company managed project. Jira, we will understand about Jira APIs based on the new projects, returning response of X-ray issue type. Okay. Now this is X-ray specific, but having said that, as I said, you need to have Jira, you need to have connectivity in Jira, you need to understand Scrum, you need to understand what is Agile, or you need to understand what is the Scrum teams all together before starting with X-ray. Okay, so what I have done is I have created different sections related to DevOps, what is Scrum, what is Scrum Teams, what is Agile before this X-ray understanding or X-ray sections so that some of my students who are not aware of, about Agile, they are not aware about Scrum Teams, they can understand that. Okay, so the section we will be starting with this particular course will be Introduction to DevOps, Agile, CI, CD, Sprints, Scrum Teams. So there will be sections related to introduction to DevOps, why DevOps, introduction to agile methodology, sprint, sprint backlogs, Kanban, scrum teams, tools of DevOps in the market, quick look of CI CD. Then we will be creating a Jira cloud instance and setting up access project structure, sprint backlog, issue types, etc. So we'll be creating Atlassian account, we'll be setting up the billing account, we'll be adding the new users how to set up user access, roles within Jira by admin, creating a team, profile settings, including QA engineer. We'll be looking at the issue types in Jira, structuring epics, stories, tasks, bug, including test. We'll be creating issue types in Jira as per the our project. We'll be polishing epics, user stories, tasks, test tasks, using tracking to test. Testing as such, we'll be looking at the sprint backlogs, product backlogs. We'll be using Jira APIs, okay? So we'll be understanding about how to access Jira via REST APIs. We'll be looking at the introduction. We'll be creating token APIs. We'll be accessing Jira REST APIs by authorization, which is very important from security perspective. We'll be access all users in Jira by GET APIs. We'll be ac accessing issue types in Jira by GET APIs. We'll be accessing task in Jira by GET APIs. We'll be creating task by POST APIs. We'll be creating bugs in Jira by POST APIs. Then we will jump into X-Ray. Now, whoever is already understanding about Jira APIs, Jira Cloud Instance, DevOps, Agile, CICD, they can directly jump on to this particular section of X-Ray, which we have already seen. Then we will jump on to X-Ray issue types. So this is related to manual testing and we will be looking at our test application, which is application under test. We'll be looking at the test steps, test cases that we are required to test in our project. We'll be enabling X-Ray settings before creating issue types. We'll be creating test issue types based on our test cases. We'll be creating test set issue types to associate three tests under that test set. We'll be creating test plan issue types to associate three tests. We'll be creating test execution issue type to associate three tests. We'll be looking at Jira board view with X-ray issue types. We'll be exporting the Cucumber features from X-ray, executing tests inside test execution manually in X-ray. Now this will be related to X-ray issue types, manual testing. Then we will jump on to looking at X-ray issue types, manual testing using APIs. Okay, so we'll be looking at X-ray APIs, which are REST APIs. Now we'll be looking at X-ray APIs, which will be generating authorization token and exporting Cucumber features via APIs. Now this again focuses on security aspect of it using the authorization token. We'll be touch basing on that. Then we will jump on to automation aspect of X-ray and Selenium. Now we'll be looking at from perspective how to build a BDD test automation framework, peculiarity of X-ray and um, is using BDD approach. So we'll be installing IntelliJ Java Maven in our local machine. We'll be creating a project, add a, add a Cucumber plugin. We'll be adding Cucumber dependency, Selenium dependency, web driver manager. Feature files will be having an introduction to page object model concept, which is a framework, one of the best designed framework. We'll be adding pages, we'll be adding step definitions. We'll be adding three test scripts related to three test cases. and after all this is performed, we'll be adding X-Ray annotation in our feature file, which is very important to integrate with X-Ray. Integrating our test automation framework with X-Ray. Post this, we will integrate Maven with X-Ray. Now our framework is designed in a Maven Selenium based Java project. So what we'll do is we'll look at the introduction of X-Ray integration with Maven. We'll be having a practical demo of integration with one test. 
then practical demonstration to integrate with other two tests as well. Then we will jump on to configuring Docker. Now we will look at the introduction. Why do we need Docker? We will install Docker in our local machine. We'll be having a quick view of Docker architecture and components. We'll create Docker file and compose file to run Maven test inside the container. Adding details of Selenium Docker containers in our Docker files and run the test. We'll be fixing failures and rerunning our Docker file again to test it. Adding some more changes and we'll make sure our all three tests runs pass in our Docker containers as such. And once we run this in the Docker container, we'll be able to create a X-ray issue type automatically. And that's our whole intention to integrate it with X-ray test management tool as such. We'll be looking at Bitbucket. Now, Bitbucket is a source code management provided by Atlassian. We'll be looking at why do we need Bitbucket and a source code management. We'll be providing access and privileges to the team members in Bitbucket. This is again from a security perspective. Email notification to members once they have uh, they are provided with access. What's Git? We'll be looking at Git perspective. Basics of Git. We'll be verifying if the Git is present in the machine. If not, installing Git in the machine. Pushing code into repository using the Git commands. Process. So we'll push our code into repository using Git commands. Process of. We'll be looking at the process of raising pull request in the Bitbucket and merge the code in the master branch. Then we will be integrating Bitbucket with AWS. Now, this is an aspect of CI/CD. A complete CI/CD will create a new AWS account. We'll create a code pipeline inside the AWS. Now, AWS is will be our code infrastructure. We'll be adding build spec file and running the test in the pipeline to reflect in X-ray. So the moment we run this tests inside AWS, automatically X-ray will get the results and it will reflect in the project as well. Now email notification to the members once. Now we'll create the Bitbucket pipeline. We'll be looking at the Bitbucket pipeline as uh, one of the infrastructure as well. And we'll be fixing the big Bitbucket pipeline. We'll be running the Bitbucket pipeline post fixing the pipeline. And we'll be looking at the complete com continuous integration deployment development practically happening successfully in our whole integration of Bitbucket and AWS. So there is a lot to cover in our uh, courses, but this roadmap shows you a complete idea about what all is included in our course. Each step is shown hands-on practical aspect. And if you are stuck, you can go back and check your videos, re-watch the videos and set up, set up in your machine. So all the best, sit back, relax, and let's get started in the next video.